Got tight inner thigh muscles from sitting all day long, or really dense, tense adductors from working out at the gym? In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple massage technique that you can use at home for free to help loosen up your inner thighs. I'm Matt Shu from Upright Health, where we help you move beyond your limitations so you can live with confidence. Be sure to check out the description section as well as the cards throughout this video to learn more about upcoming workshops as well as do-it-yourself programs to help you get better at whatever you want to do. If you have dense inner thigh muscles or tense adductors, you may have seen a video I did a few years ago where I showed you how to use a foam roller to get at your inner thigh muscles. Now, some people may find the adductors pretty tough to get at with the foam roller. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a technique to massage those inner thigh muscles with a really cheap tool you might have lying around the house. This exercise is super effective and it's one that we have in the FAI Fix program that helps people with their hip mobility issues. One of the unfortunate realities that you encounter when you have really dense inner thigh muscles or your groin feels super stuck all the time is nobody really wants to help you with it because they don't want to have to touch anything near your most precious of precious and your most holy of holies. So what you need to do is figure out how to get into those muscles yourself and that's what I'm gonna use this softball for. So you could use a softball, you could use a baseball, you could use a lacrosse ball, probably not a tennis ball unless the hardness of one of these balls is too much. But if you use a tennis ball, make sure it's a fresh tennis ball and then gradually work your way into something that's a little more dense and hard so that you can get a better uh, amount of pressure into your adductor muscles. Then what you're gonna do is take that ball and put it on a chair or a bench, something firm, just like so. You're gonna take your leg, whichever side you're trying to work on, and put it up over the ball. So now you're basically putting pressure, the weight of your leg, down on the ball, and you're searching around for areas that feel really dense and tender. Now, you're in control here. You don't need to try to hurt yourself and you don't need to try to impress yourself with how much pressure you can take. You wanna just find those spots, feel like they're ooh, maybe a little bit too, too tender, and you can just stay there a little bit and let that relax. Once you feel the muscle relax, then you can reposition the ball, reposition yourself to find a new spot. So right there for me feels like a good spot that's kind of like on my, uh, looks like adductor brevis I think, and probably, uh, I think gracilis is probably running around in there too. And I'm just gonna hang out on that and let that relax. And so you can see hopefully this brightly colored ball right here is just hanging out I'm not doing a whole bunch of movement, I'm just letting it relax. I can wiggle back and forth a little bit, but overall I wanna make sure I'm taking my time and allowing my body to relax and allowing those groin muscles to relax. Now, if I wanna get more detailed and get higher up into the groin, what I can do is get a smaller ball. So this is a lacrosse ball, and then I can throw my leg up over it just the same way we did, but because it's smaller, I can actually get that up higher into the groin, which for some of you will feel like heaven and hell at the same time. So you are going to do the same exact thing, put pressure in there, and this time I'm just, just gonna let my leg hang off a little bit more off the edge of the bench here. And I can even add some amount of rotational movement in the hip joint. So right now I'm doing what's called external rotation or I can do internal rotation. All these angle changes make a big difference in terms of what part of the adductors you're uh, able to hit. And in terms of, ooh, yeah, what part of the adductors are um, suddenly accessible. You can also change the angle of your leg. So if I keep this planted, I could move this leg away down this way. I could move it up more. And that's also going to change the way the adductors are aligned and arranged. So if, for example, I have trouble getting into deep hip flexion, like if I, if I find it difficult to be this flexed with the hip joint, then maybe I wanna work on the adductors with my hip in deep flexion. So I bring that knee closer up towards that right shoulder and I'm in deeper hip flexion with abduction. And then I can also start playing with internal and external rotation, just trying to get my body to loosen up in multiple angles. 
When we first introduce this exercise to a client, we want to have them start usually with about two minutes of this kind of self-massage. And if it feels productive and we see that it's getting them good results, we may have them do it for longer, up to five minutes on each side. Over time, what you want to see is that the muscles are able to relax better so that you can then use them and train them in different ranges of motion. So it's not like the massage itself is just going to fix everything, but it's going to prep those muscles so that they're a little more pliable so that they can do things that make them better, stronger, and more flexible in the long term. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to check out the description box for links for our upcoming workshops, as well as do-it-yourself programs to help you move and feel better. Let us know how this exercise feels for you in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't.